joining us on the line now from New York is one of the top-ranked analysts for News Corp. He's RBC Capital Markets' David Bank. He has an outperform rating on the stock. Uh, David, uh, what would you rather be a shareholder in, News Corp or Time Warner? Wow, that's an interesting question. I think they're, they're, uh, they're two really different companies. I mean, frankly, I'd, I'd be happy to be a, a, sharehold, a shareholder in both. Um, but I think the proposition at Time Warner is, you know, you're, 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 you're an investor in what's largely uh, a pure play cable channel business. Um, and, you know, relatively mature, steady, eddy uh, properties versus a news corp where I think you're at a mix of, um, you know, uh, cable channels and traditional TV as well as some higher growth businesses like the international BBS businesses, um, you know, the, the interactive business like MySpace, um, as well as some, some you know, potential, uh, potential turnarounds like the newspaper business. So they're really different companies. Um, I yeah, think let's that, take... you know, the big... Yeah, I'm sorry. David, I, I, I want to just get to, to each one of them in turn. It's just, you know, they're doing better, but, you know, it's also both of them rely on advertising to some extent anyway. And... Yep. We, you know, what we're seeing now is perhaps a, a turnaround taking place, but, you know, the advertising model is under severe stress as it is. Right. Well, the beauty of the cable channel model, unlike broadcasting, is that something like 50% of your revenues at a cable channel come from affiliate fees, which are contractually determined, they're relatively economically insensitive, and you get great visibility into them. So I think that's a reason why investors might be looking heavily at a Time Warner, which is less, uh, you know, less um, reliant on uh, advertising revenues. On the other hand, we're at a point of pretty strong cyclical rebound, despite the macro. The numbers we've seen coming out of that, from advertising growth have just been phenomenal over the past two weeks in reporting. And Time Warner reported an advertising gro growth number uh, of I think something like a plus 14 percent. Discovery was a double-digit number. You know, we saw similar numbers out of News Corp tonight in domestic. I think it's a, a, a plus 11. So, you know, cyclically, you're hitting it at a really good time. And I think from a secular perspective, um, the TV business looks better because you're getting retransmission consent. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons why, um, you know, we're, we're feeling pretty bullish about, about the, uh, the TV advertising business in particular. David Bank, thank you very much indeed for joining us.